<laughs> I sang it better, you rock. Ah. Wise ass. Eighty <laughs> sound eight. You should probably, uh, you know, look at the the hot clock. I got stuff a, a sheet with all information about the artist. I got a bone to pick with Martha Quinn if we're talking about eighties and eighties. Oh. I'm a company guy now, so I'm uh, listening to a lot of different channels. Yeah, sampling. Sampling mm -hmm. and consulting. Oh, she uh, did some, uh, I don't know, 80s on 8 trivia thing, 80s trivia, and I guess you could play along on the website if you oh, want. Maybe wow. we could do that. Ooh. That sounds cool. And she actually had a pretty good question. She, she asked, uh, what football team won the most Super Bowls in the 80s? In the 80s. I listened to this on the way home yesterday. I would have to say the 49ers. Jimmy? I think the 49ers is correct. Well, you're both right. Oh, and she gives the answer, but then she doesn't give how many they won. Oh, Martha. And I don't know. How many do you think they won in the 80s? Well, I'm but why would you have, why wouldn't you say, yeah, say it, three, it, four. the answer was the 49ers and they won such and such amount. Four? Yeah, I think the fifth one was what? Steve Young. See? We don't four, even know. Wow. It was four? Okay. Four. Nice. So make sure Martha Quinn knows that I have a little problem with her. It was a good. It was a good question. It, it kept me uh, tuned in, but then she doesn't give the the number. Broadway Joe Montana. Yeah, can we play the '80s game? And Steve Young. What, what did Steve Young win in the '90s, or was he in '89? Oh, 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 wow. what, mm. what are you? A douche. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sure don't want to say that in this room. Yeah, it's <laughs> really a bad thing to say in here. <laughs> It sucks to be on guard for four hours a day. <laughs> I hate it. As soon as I leave here, I'm not on guard anymore. It, 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 I, you you fuck. feel like a fucking wounded zebra at a watering <laughs> hole in this room. Just constantly looking around. My mother used to say, Chip, you're a Weisenheimer. <laughs> What are you doing with that? <laughs> Why? This is going great. <laughs> okay, faggot, <Shit>. what's next? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Steve Young won the 89. Oh, 89. 89. 89 season or 89 Super Bowl? Uh, 80, well, 89 Super Bowl, 88, 89 season. Oh. That's always that All thing. Right. Like, oh, okay. what year was that? Oh, oh no. It was, okay, oh. now. All right, oh, then. Because. So Montana, what, won three? Okay. Damn. Montana won three in the 80s, and then Steve Young won the fourth. Bradshaw won four, didn't he? I know Aikman oh, wow. won three. Uh, Damn. A.S. Strzok won two. And uh, I think oh, you're just playing the game all by yourself, aren't you? Right. Does, does Bradshaw? Uh, yeah, Bradshaw won four. Okay, yeah, he's the most, the winningest one, right? I don't think anyone else has four. Nine, ten, thirteen, and four. What What does Brady got these days? Two. Just two. Man. I thought he had three. He should have at least one more there, right? He's right. Three. Yes. He does have three. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. What about Tebow? Tebow. I was thinking about you on the oh, way yeah. in today because oh. I, I made it to the Grateful Dead <clears throat> channel. Oh, God. By the way, um, Underground Garage could be the best fucking channel on Sirius. Oh, yeah? You like that one? Holy fuck, I do. <clears throat> little Steven That's is... Little Steven Van Zant. It's got a nice little niche. It's a lot of songs I've never heard of, but they're cool. Yeah? I just like it. Yes. I want to give him props, man, because it's very <sighs> different. Propellers? Underground, underground garage. I was listening to uh, what the fuck, uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders today, but it was some just a cool sounding song. It wasn't like one of the hits. No, I never heard the song before in my life. So he takes a bunch of these songs that no one ever heard and plays that should them. Should be, but should be songs that oh, you should know. Well, I like that type of uh, music <clears throat> radio. You know, because most program directors were closed minded. If it well, wasn't yeah. a hit out of the box, they're like, oh, fuck that. Let it wither on the vine, as they say. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> but check out uh, Underground Garage if you haven't. Little Steve. Yeah. It's pretty fucking cool. I like it. But I was, uh, I'm like, man, he, Ant would hate this. I, I would, right? I, I listened to a 20 minute, this was the, uh, oh, no. the Grateful Dead channel, a 20 minute version of St. Stephen. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and you listened to it? Yeah. Well, I was 
half asleep, so it was perfect. Well, good. <laughs> you get all the way asleep after listening to that. Oh, no. And I then you don't even that. know it's the song anymore for about 10 minutes, and then it comes then, back. Then it pops back into the riff. You're like, oh, okay, I'm still listening to St. Oh, Stephen. I hate that it's St. Stephen. <laughs> and I just thought about you, oh. how it just sounds like they're tuning their guitar the whole time. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> I hate this. Oh, sounds like when I go to the Ren Fair. <laughs> oh, may I have a cup of grog, m'lady? Only 19. Oh. <laughs> the Renaissance Fair is coming up in Tuxedo, New York. Oh, Maybe I'll go. Cup of grog, m'lady? You're going to go. Pardon, pardon. Could you direct me to the privy? Oh, I'd be so embarrassed to talk yeah. like that. I don't talk like that. No? Good. No, not unless I really get a lot of grog in me. <laughs> <laughs> it's By grog weekend. is come. It's this weekend. <laughs> it's this weekend. What are you doing? You got to oh, get up man. there. I'm sorry. It's every weekend yeah. Whoa. until September 22nd. Yeah, okay. I got time. Could the show go up there? Oh, man. Sure. Should. Let's do a little uh, little uh, field trip. Where is Tuxedo? We have a lot of fans just north at the of Ren here. Fair, my friend. Of course, of course we do. Yes, we do. Every time I go, uh, a lot of people. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wayne says a good point. Wait, you, you guys are bitching about Martha Quinn, the guys who used to go home before the number one answer? <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. Yeah. And by the way, I'm hearing yeah. that Travis is wrong. There was Montana did win four, which I thought, and that Steve Young won in 94. All right, what's wrong with that wrestler? Uh-oh, I saw that too. What's wrong with him? Who is that? That was uh, uh, Fox Sam would know. He's he, going to he be was, on Fox and uh, He was extremely friends. famous. And uh, holy just, shit, he looks horrible. He didn't look uh, who's very that? good. On Fox? Yeah, yeah. They just went to commercial. Who was that? Oh, you know what? He's right. He was Montana's backup in 89. So technically he won a ring, but he didn't. Oh, okay. oh, so, oh so, wow. so Montana got the four. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. All right. What I don't know who that wrestler was. What's wrong with this was? fat thing? I know. He can't wait. Speak. Thanks to the help of the Saudi king. What? They can't move the fucking thing out of the way, so you can't see his fat fucking face. Yeah, they, hey, what happened uh, to St. Stephen? Oh. It was just starting to build, man. Build! Oh, oh, <laughs> He's Lex. singing Elvis along with his cats. That's Lex Luger. <laughs> that yeah. was Lex yeah. Luger? He's gonna be here today, I think. He's doing really? something. Really? He Lex doesn't Luger? look good. Lex Luger? He used to be. He was one of the biggest Yeah, he body slammed names. Yokozuna. Oh, oh, he was a wrestler. Yeah, he was, he was a monster, man. He was obviously, well, I can't say obviously. It looked like he was on the roids. What like, yeah, he was. Now it looks like he's, he's got well some all, right? major no, fucking he, issues. He was with Miss Elizabeth when she died. Oh, yeah? They think, rumor is that he may have contributed to it, but it was never proven. Oh. In what way? That he was supplying her with her oh. shit. He had a spinal Allegedly. stroke. A what? A spinal stroke. Ah, in 2007, so mm. six years ago, he suffered a nerve impingement in his neck that led to temporary par paralysis. Right. June 2008, he was able to stand on his own for short periods of time and use a walker. In 2010, he said he's able to walk more comfortably and able to drive around. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, he's not doing well at all. But yeah. Turn this oh, up, man. This is just starting to sing. Oh, horrible <laughs> music. <laughs> For hours. It was 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes of this shit? I had to drive an hour and a half. So this was like... Who is this, Hope? This is great. The Grateful Dead. Woof. You don't like? No! That's, that's like... like Rush. That's what, wow, that's what he looks like these days? Lex Luger? Oh, he was a wrestling monster, man. When's he here? Uh, this afternoon. Oh. Oh, God. This stinks. It's terrible. How did you listen to this? I was just digging it. Just going with it, man. No, man. you don't go with it. <laughs> I know what you mean, but you, you don't with just this. Go with it, man. Especially when you're driving at a high speed. How yeah, I was going 80 there? fucking five miles an hour listening to this. It, did, it, it didn't really fucking match up. You're right. If you're stoned, this might be great at the show, and you're like on fucking hallucinogenics. Oh, I'd be so angry I was there. Some girl with a fucking nice hairy pits and dirty bare feet and bunions. Oh. <laughs> exactly. And I also listened to Ray Charles. Busted. You ever hear that song? Oh, no. That's a cool little fucking song. Yeah. That was on the 50s channel. 50s? Boy, I've been told you, to be more of a company guy. You so are I'm trying. sampling. Is this Busted? 
Yeah. I fucking love this dumb thing today. Another song I'd never heard before in my life. My bills are all due and the baby needs shit. Of course. <laughs> of course. Song, yeah, yeah. Cotton is down to a quarter of a pound, but I'm busted. I got a I got caught tugging my peck of my mother said Boston. <laughs> Good one, Chip. The town is gonna fall. <laughs> oh, what happened? You don't like this amp? No. <laughs> this <laughs> is awful. <laughs> Why is it awful? <laughs> it's just the same shit. My brother said there ain't a thing I can do. My wife and my kids are all down. This is the beginning of a movie. Is it? Yeah, it sounds like it. Just, yeah. What movie? No, it just this sounds, sounds like, like it. it would be yeah. the beginning yeah, of a movie. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Well, I am no thief, oh. but a man can go wrong when he's busted. Yeah, yeah. The food that we can the last summer is gone, and I'm busted. This is good, man. I like this. The fields are all bare, and the cotton won't grow. Me and my family got to pack up and go. But I'll make a living just where I don't know, cause I'm busted. I'm broke. Uh huh. No bread. I'm not uh, feeling it. I mean, like nothing. Yeah. And that just kind of fades out. I like that. I liked it, man. Yeah. Why do you torture oh, yourself? Oh, and this song's still on? Oh. Still going. <laughs> this, this, this is... St. Stephen. So fucking <laughs> horrible. How long is this version? <clears throat> uh, you still got another six minutes. <laughs> six minutes. Was it really playing the whole time or you doing a bit? No, no. That's why I faded up so easily. Who's okay. singing with him? I don't know who the female singer is. I have no idea. I don't go that deep with the dead. Like, what year is this particular recording? Uh, the one I heard this morning was from 1977 yes. Hartford, Connecticut. 80 different versions. And um, then I was listening to uh, Aerosmith, Let the Music Do the Talking. Yeah. But he fucking sings the whole fucking time. Wouldn't you just let the music do the talking? Oh, uh, well. I'm like, that don't make no that sense. That don't make no sense. Yeah. <laughs> why, would you, why would you sing Let the Music Do the Talking? Mm. Just let the music do the talking. This is okay. This was uh, one of the popular ones on Underground Garage. Yeah? This one I knew. I didn't know a lot of the songs on Underground Garage. Oh, this isn't the dead? <laughs> Aerosmith. Yeah. You like the Aerosmith? Uh, Train kept the rolling all night long. Nothing? Uh, no? There's a few that I could deal with. Sweet emotion. <laughs> what do you got? Anything? Mm. Toys in the attic? Not really. You don't like them? I gotta be honest. Wait, you think they're overrated? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Your music taste is tough. Man. It really is. You I don't know. really expand. Terrible. You don't expand out too far. No. How do you not I'm like Aerosmith? For real. I don't know. Like, this to me is. You don't like so that down and dirty. Generic fucking. You don't like that down and dirty shit. Nah. This should be in a race car video game. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is like a Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm not feeling this. Holy fuck, he did body slam him. Yeah, I'm watching this video. Holy I think everyone shit. except Lex Luger is dead, right? Yeah. Crush is dead. Crush is dead. Yokozuna is dead. Yokozuna dead. Macho Man's dead. Right. Elizabeth's dead. Elizabeth's dead. Wow. Lex Luger's almost dead. Yeah. What year was this? Nine. Uh, 93-ish? Somewhere in there, yeah. Because this led this to the Lex so Express. 90s. Where he had a bus and just went around America. Bobby the Brain Heenan. Oh. Before he lost half his face. <laughs> Right? Yeah. 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 Is he dead? No. Oh, he might God. as well be. He should be. What's going on with this Saudi man that weighs 1,300 pounds? 
What is that about? The king is offering to help him lose weight probably by removing his head. The, ca- <laughs> <laughs> the king. Where was this? The intrepid? Oh, yeah. it's still on it. Oh, come you on. You can't see it because they have the fucking sign in they front of his face. put the fucking graphic up and they... Is it really still on? Now you have three minutes. Now you're doing a bit. No. Oh my god. You're under three minutes. <laughs> it's like man. we never left. <laughs> oh, this horrible. If if people, if you were at a concert listening to this and you liked it, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> Why? The whole place was into it. Ah. Oh. I probably made about five dead shows. How annoying would it be? Probably about. I'd be like, hey, this is taking up time that you could play hits. <laughs> oh. Do you like fish? Oh. I never got into fish. Now I'm out. Stupid I tried fish. to. Never really got into that. There was no Barney Miller. Oh, whoa. I yelled at Stinky once for, wasn't it Stinky? Like called up, I hotline yeah. Stinky when we were on vacation at NEW. And what, he was just doing the show? Yeah, he was doing the show and he played Fish. How was and he I- just doing the show? Why did we allow that? I don't he used know. to play like eight minutes of oh, music. Hold on. Ah, what a story you've got. Yes. We'll, we'll go back to Fish I, I, in a second. It's quite the story. So, you, had, you were at the, absolutely the top Lex of Luger. the wrestling world, but behind the scenes, we had no idea the personal hell you had fallen into. Oh. Yeah, it's sort kind of a good lesson for young people, hopefully, that read the book that, you know, we reap what we sow. It's kind of a universal principle. And. Everything seemed like everything was going wonderful behind the scenes. I was making a lot of poor choices and bad decisions. We should have got hanging with that. and what I was doing, and yeah. and it all unraveled at a certain point. What were some of those things you were doing, and what did you lose because of it? Um, drugs, alcohol, women, and I lost my family. I had a beautiful wife and two kids, and but people, one guy corrected me one time when I was speaking. He said, "You didn't lose them. You gave them up oh. for other stuff." Chasing my friends called you were chasing the life of folly, Lex. That's what I was Falling doing. away, you got a lot of money. Unbelievable shape. So uh, you're playing to packed arenas. So you had all the trappings of fame and fortune. What was the allure that was so that was uh, you should have Bob Backlund, oh. Jimmy's favorite wrestler. Well, I think with anybody, I'd go home and be the good father and husband back in Atlanta where I lived, and then I get on the road, and I didn't, I didn't have. I guess I didn't have any accountability because there's always temptation out there. I didn't have the accountability in my life to somebody. Right. Or or something. Oh For me now it's God, but I mean to, to really oh, sit me right down boy. and go, oh, what are you doing that I, that I felt that Lord. I had, had to answer to? Well, it caught up with you because you wound up spending four months in jail. But the good news oh. is you met somebody who changed your life. I did. I met a chaplain in jail and I stubborn Charlie? me. I didn't, get, I didn't uh, <laughs> make any decisions to change my life at that point. He pursued me outside of jail, Pastor Steve Baskin, very special friend. And he... Uh, didn't try to share like religion with me because I, I didn't grow up with religion I, I, book. at all. So he uh, just became my friend and ended up eventually the uh, devil. sharing the good news with me. Fuck and yeah. I made the 23rd of 06. So Fuck my life yeah. was supernaturally changed. Wow. Yeah. And, and you say that you're really yeah. trying to repair all those relationships that, that you lost. Good luck. That ego that you mentioned, too, that was uh, just, just this wild, huge ego. Yeah. to watch her taking a dump onto success. a mirror. So how can people manage that in their own lives, whether it's financial <laughs> success or fame or what have you? Uh, balance. Uh, I call it the sand versus the rock. What, what are you building the foundation of life on? Is it, is, is, do you have faith in God? Uh-huh. Do you have, uh, you know, love your family and your friends? Oh, and for me, Stop it's chasing your life of folly. Yes. You That's what about? you're doing, Anthony. I'm chasing your life of with folly. Neck, life and I was, folly. I, sat, <laughs> I sat the wrong way in an airplane for a long period of time. My head turned. What? And just due to my long story short, neurologist said because of my, all my muscle I still had then. Right. And all my, Injuries normal from football and wrestling career, um, bone spurs. I cut the blood flow off to my central cord. I woke up next morning paralyzed in a hotel Whoa. room. Thought I was dehydrated. Yep. Being the athlete, oh, I must not be. Uh, yeah, I must be dehydrated. I must have reached total. I need some water. Blood. Yeah, and it wasn't. No, I need a lot more than water. So turn your keep but moving really, your head. Uh, I went to Shepherd Don't Center, Atlanta, which place. is a rehab center. And they're wonderful, and they, they gave me a, a zero to five percent chance of any movement from the neck down. So. What I can do You're now doing today it. is incredible. I'm very thankful. Paralyzed. Great well, it's uh, great to hear your story. Hey, you thank come you. back, where you've been, and where you're heading. Lex oh, Luger, boy. thank you very much for coming. Oh, thank you. Congratulations on your book. Go get it. Wrestling with the Devil. Wrestling with the Devil. Wrestling with the yeah. Devil. Fuck. Okay, brother. Oh, my God. How does Wrestling with the Devil go, Chip? You got a little bit of that? If you could instantly write a song, what would it sound like? 
Wrestling with devil. Of course it sounds like that. <laughs> the lyrics just write themselves. Ah, oh, they really do. Yeah. Uh, regular John Lennon. <laughs> St. Stephen's still playing. Oh, better not be. No, I ran out. Oh, I ran Thank out. God. That's too bad. We could restart it. If no. Why? Because the dead is <laughs> terrible. What a niche band. Boy, did they get lucky uh, coming up with a bunch of fucking zombie-like followers. God. I like, I like that they didn't mind their shows being taped. Though. Like, I really like that they embraced that. They did yeah, different they shows every night. They yeah, because really it didn't it matter. At a time when no one was yeah. embracing that shit. It's like, oh, we're just jamming anyway. Who gives a shit? No one's going to want to hear it. What? <laughs> I, that's fucking... What? Didn't you get to trade your cassettes, man? Oh, you people you did that, that, right? Man. You wouldn't trade your cassettes? What do you think hey. a real dead fan has? How many shows like oh, you know, God. a crazy dead fan? Hundreds. Easily. Really? Oh, God. I they trade them all over the place. So many dead shows. You would go in the parking lot and people would just be like, hey, man, I got San Francisco 74. I'll cook you some <laughs> spaghetti for fucking the Palladium and fucking fuck. That. Two dollars a plate. Disgusting. I ate many, uh, many a plate of spaghetti in the uh, parking lot. It was some delicious. Filthy asshole. Making it, but when do you when do you listen to them? If you're at a dead show for three and a half hours, right? What do you listen to another show on the way home? <laughs> no, right. Yeah. We get it. If you like them <laughs> on the way home, what is that? <laughs> oh, you're right. Next the fans show. didn't go home. They would pack up and go to the next uh, place, and on the way they would listen to dead shows. <laughs> what years do they tour? Big, big, like from uh, see now, I uh, like '68 or were they earlier uh, than that? Uh, uh, wow, someone has got to help me out here. I would, I they they uh, when they were like just selling out arenas. Yeah, Oof. just where people were following them all over. I'd have to just go low '70s, obviously, right? I'm following the dead this summer. Shut up. I, I, but follow a job. <laughs> I would have followed the dead. I would have followed. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, oh, just to see America gosh. and shit. The oh. parking lot was amazing You're at a dead show. You're not seeing America. You're seeing the fucking dregs of society. And then they're like, the, I, I listened to a lot of people in the parking lot. They'd be like, yeah, man, we're not going to Chicago, but we'll meet you in Des Moines. Oh, they'd blow off one of the stops and oh. go to the next one to get a good spot in the parking lot. <laughs> what is they do that? Oh, fuck, dude. The whole, it was a traveling circus. What the, the fuck? The entire summer. That's all it was. People going from one show to the other. And a lot of times they didn't even go to the concert. They just went to the parking lots. Do you think people sometimes miss the show because they were too high in the parking lot? <laughs> oh, well, think? <laughs> I was ready to answer that. I, I don't that. know. I mean, I literally Here, here you go. Now you got to talk to a deadhead. Oh. All right. Uh, Dave in Connecticut. Dave. Of course. Hey, how's it going today, boys? Hey, Dave. What's up, Good buddy? How man. old are you, Dave? I am in my late 40s. Late 40s, okay. Yeah, and I went to uh, several hundred dead shows back in the day. <laughs> several oh, hundred? Wow. That's a lot. So that means you were you were traveling with them? Uh, on a uh, break from college, and uh, you know, even when I was working, we'd take a couple weeks off, we would travel around. Uh, so I'm in, uh, mainly on the East Coast, but uh, a few times we went uh, cross country. Why, sir? <laughs> the music and the whole theme was awesome. When you were that age, young and single, uh, a bunch of your friends, road sodas in the car. Uh, I could do it without that fucking... I, I, I don't mind all that other stuff without that fucking droning, redundant, repetitive fucking soundtrack <laughs> that's playing in the background of your drinking and wait, we, partying. Wait, we need a song for this break. Oh. What song you want to hear, Dave? Touch of Grey is the one the oh. dead fans love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. What do you we want to hear? You want to play Bertha? A little, you know, rocking over here. What's That's it called? Bertha. B e r t h a. Bertha. I've never heard that. Bertha is a great song. Bertha. You don't know Bertha? No. <laughs> you should know Bertha. <laughs> Give us a little Bertha. Bertha. This one I know. All right, continue, Dave. Oh, of course. Well, sure. <laughs> Sounds like fucking Almond Brothers right there. I love the Almond Brothers. You don't even like the Almond Brothers, do you? No. You like the Almond Brothers better than. I like uh, the short Almond Brothers songs. Oh, uh, <laughs> listen to 
of this. <laughs> what? It's this again. He's not hurting anyone. Oh, he's hurting me. <laughs> Why? I hate. I... All their songs fucking suck like this. <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> Listen to it. I just love the ja, anger. Ja, ja, ja. With the, 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 the vocal, everything is shit. They're telling little stories. I don't mind this either. This is okay. The drumming's not bad. I am on my Bertha, don't you come around here. Anymore. Bertha. Yeah. Try to yeah. song about Bertha. Maybe he don't want her to get pregnant. How long is this song, you rock? Uh, this is a short version, but there is a 14 minute oh, version. Oh, why you would there play? be a 14 minute version <laughs> of a fucking it. song? Yeah, you should restart. No. I don't know why you would play the short oh. version. How dare you, sir? Dave in Connecticut approves of the long version, right, Dave? Absolutely, play the long version. Yeah, you gotta play it, man. You gotta, you gotta feel it, at. Oh. You know what the song is about? Huh? You know what the song is about? I, I. What is it about? Do not, sir. Jerry Garcia wrote it. Bertha was the name of an electric fan that used to. It was over one of those. And it would walk across the floor when it was at top speed, and they would chase it around when they were all stoned. So Bertha is actually about a fan. That's funny. <laughs> <sighs> and he sings about it for 14 minutes. 14 fucking minutes. Oh, the yeah. fans would move around the room because it was on high. But if you're fucking tripping, that, that must have been pretty cool to see. Yeah. All right, Dave. I'm with you, brother. I'll bet you that was their code word. Like, what were you doing last night? Chasing Bertha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, abs <laughs> absolutely, they would say that. They're chasing Bertha. I was thinking you were high. Zooted. Let's say hi to one more deadhead and then we'll move on. Greg in New Hampshire. Hi, Greg. Oh, hey, boys. Holy shit. You seen that Haynes ad on TV right now with the girl's bushes like right in your face? No. Holy fuck. You got to see this Haynes ad, Jimmy. You're going to fucking freak out. <laughs> I love this, this guy's guy. excited about it. I wouldn't mind it. that, to be Honestly, very honest. that Haynes. Greg yes, is. I, can't, I couldn't believe it. It's a Haynes ad and they're bushes that her? right in your face. It's unbelievable, Jimmy. You're I see a out. bikini top there now. Uh, uh, hold on, my friend. We're looking for it. Yeah, we're looking for you it. You simmer down. Greg is an, uh, a younger dead fan. He he followed him in the 80s, right? Yeah, I'm 48. and uh, Oh, all right. Well, I'm not 57. That... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, in the 80s, I mean, how much other music was there that you were going to go around and follow? There, was, there wasn't shit. So. Is that the one? Kaja Gugu. Is it the one with the colorful underwear? And then yes, and they, it's all kaleidoscope. Holy shit, you're they right. back off and uh, kaleidoscope. And they yeah, show yeah, yeah. like they're just showing pussy, kind of. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Let's see. All right, it's they all get together. Oh my god, they're eating each other's asses. <laughs> oh, I oh saw that. Oh my god, yeah. All right, they're they getting away with something getting, right here. Uh, okay. Oh, they oh, they right. zoom right in doing. on the pussy. Yeah. All right. Hello. It's like eight in the morning, and they're doing that. Wow! Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Oh man, so nice to not see a bulge. <laughs> <laughs> just see a fucking pussy. Yes. <laughs> it, it, it just conjures up that thing of of uh, when you were younger, and and the first time you really got a chick's like pants off, but not her panties. Right. And you looked, and we're just like. That's fucking great. I could tell there's nothing down there. <laughs> it's just like fucking. That's a vagina under there. You have to go through a few before you got to the fucking. No, but okay. you you just kind of you just kind of know that you you put your underwear on and there's a bulge in the front and you're like ah you know. But right. to see that you're like all right, that's a girl. Wow, they don't have to move their shit around. That's a girl. Uh, what do you got yeah. on the dead in the '80s there, Greg? Oh, hey, it's kind of uh, an acquired taste. It definitely grows no. on you. The first few times no. I heard the dead, I thought it was shit. I heard the same but, story, I mean, you sir. Have, and you have to respect Jerry. I mean, no, a I don't. He's a fucking rock and roll guy. I don't know he's not. Rock and roll guy. I don't God. have to respect him. <laughs> and it's not acquired because I fucking went out with some 
broad who was so into the dead, no, it, and, and she tried to get... It really, no, it grows on you. It grows no, it doesn't. She broke your heart, it and that's did. why you hate the dead now. No, right? no, now we got she, it. No, no, you she didn't. To shows and you start getting into it. It's a different show. I went night. to a show. I fucking listened to the song. Eating, like, you start eating clean doses, and you're tripping balls, and you're like, wait a minute, this is the best thing that ever happened. And all of a sudden, you're going to like 60, 70 shows. And he, he, he did the whole, a whole tour. How, how, how long did you do this? Did you follow them for? Was it just the summer? Or was it more? Well, I, I did a whole spring tour in 86. That was like 13 shows on the East Coast. The Dead always did like three tours a year, a fall tour. A Watching tour gardening would be entertaining on acid, <laughs> so this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. It what seems that? like the drugs are very important in liking the Dead. Well, I mean, I mean most people do something when they go to a show. I mean, yeah. you have a few beers probably when you go to a, a show. A few beers is different. Going, but... I won't all of a sudden start liking a shitty band because I had a couple of beers. But if you drop some fucking acid or do some mescaline or something like that, you're going to enjoy uh, anything. You know who my band is now? It's Fish. Those guys are fucking back. Oh, God, I ever. hate this oh, guy. Dude. Oh, imagine him hanging out at a party or something. And I'm, hey, I'm in charge of the music. No, die. <laughs> no. And, you like it? This, no. And let me just put this out there. All right. The only band that's played New Year's Eve the last five years in Madison Square Garden have sold out a four-show four run. Of course. Culminating on New Year's Eve. Wow. Selling out Madison Square Garden, it's fish. That doesn't very mean popular. anything. It doesn't mean, it so doesn't mean anything. Sun Young Moon could have done that. It's a cult. That's true. It's a That's cult true. mentality. <laughs> What's a fish song, dude? What's a good fish song? Oh, glub, glub, glub. <laughs> glub, glub. <laughs> oh, there's a hook in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Put me back in the water. Yeah. I can't breathe. Eyes on the side of my head. <laughs> Leave her alone. She's just a guppy. Fish. No, what is a good fish song? Let's find a fish song. Okay, how, you could start with a total noob fish song like uh, Chalk Dust Torture. That's a, that's a, What's it know, called? Chalk Dust Torture? Chalk Dust Torture, yeah. What's it about? Chalk Dust Torture? You got it, you rock. Yeah, hang on. Hold on. I'm, oh, God. I'm... Phil Lesh. Hold on. Phil, Phil... <laughs> and he gives him a slobbo. <laughs> Phil Lesh is the guy in Fish, right? No, Phil Lesh is in the He was in the dead. dead, yeah. Oh, who's Trey in Fish? Trey and his fucking whatever. Oh, Trey and Anastasia. Okay. Now, what did he play in the dead? What what, what band? Oh, it, uh... no, no. Trey plays in Fish. He's the guitar player. He's the god. Was he in the dead or no? No, no, no. No, no. no. Oh, there was nobody who crossed over? I thought that the, the no. dead was just old fish maybe, people. Maybe over the years. No, it was, it was an East Coast, West Coast thing. Uh, the dead is from San Francisco, fish in Burlington, Vermont. Oh, oh wow. of course, Vermont. Yes. Yeah. You want to know how long this song How is? long they've been around? <laughs> how long is this song? Been, I'm a fish is on their 30th anniversary tour right now, Jim. Okay. 30 years for yeah. them already? Yeah. Holy they're, fuck. Their logo is how I know I hate fish. Huh? In 1983 when they were at UVM. Holy fuck. Yeah. How how long is this song, Iraq? We are at 25 minutes and 20 seconds left. <laughs> Why would off, you do off. that? All right, yeah, bring it down. Bring it down for 10 minutes. For the price of a flag and a price, the wind buffs the cabin. You speak of your life, or more willingly look at the nurse. Rock and roll. Oh, fuck you. Come on, Ed. No. Boy, dead. This ain't bad. No, it's not bad, Jimmy. This That's is a, bad, that part. I this is like a this newer part. song? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. Is this a newer song, you said? No, Chuck has been around for a long time. I have no idea. Okay. Duh. Yeah. But yeah. I just yeah. saw them yeah. in this past summer, and they're, they're unbelievable oh. right now. They're doing a fall tour this uh, fall, and uh, they're playing uh, three nights at, um, in uh, AC at that new board. Yeah, Rock right. Hall. Okay. Yeah, they are. They're a huge I, band. I mean, I can listen to a dead show. I've, I, I, I don't know. They're not the same. Look, it doesn't matter when the same people are going to the fucking you shows. You really should try to check them out. I think you'd like them a lot. I mean, there's yeah. Why well, wouldn't? Just go talk to the jam boys. Look at you, Ann. What's he no. look like, Phil? Phil or Trey? I'm oh, sorry, Trey and Stage. I, I keep thinking. They sell out three nights in Madison Square Garden or something, and it's the same people. Yeah. I mean, it's it's impressive yeah, to fill the garden. I understand, people. but it's the same yeah. fucking <laughs> people. The garden four nights the with the same years. fucking people in the same seats for all four nights. He You're not like getting new people. <laughs> yeah. It's 
storied venue in all of venue dumb, and it's New Year's Eve, and who's playing Dude, there? They're, they're a massive yeah. band. They, they are. Is playing there. Madison Square Garden, greatest yeah. city in the world. I don't think anybody denies that there's a lot of fish yeah. fans. Yeah, Kevin Hart could probably do that right now. Yeah. They're fish fans, though. Fucking Bill oh, Burr is two no, years no, away from it. selling out a oh, fucking New Year's Eve garden bastard. show. Bastard. <laughs> I love you guys. I got to get All right. All right, buddy. Thanks, Thanks Greg. Bye -bye. Thanks for your knowledge you today. Hey, was Lady Gaga here yesterday? Yes. She was. She was, really? I, I heard what that time? from a TMZ guy outside. How come nobody told us? Uh, I don't it think was, we it knew. It wasn't announced. Of course like, it wasn't announced. We didn't know announced. until like 10 minutes before she What time did she get here? Um, why, why are we allowed to know stuff? Yeah, they got to keep it here. secret from us. Oh, it was it was kept secret from everybody. Yeah, we worked here. Place was I'm, a buzz. I'm talking for everybody that works here. Why are we allowed to know shit? I walked by her. She looked good? No. I think she's so fucking I don't. Hot. I don't think she's attractive at all. I love her. Thank that you. That little sexy Thank outfit, you, that Travis. white fucking thing she was wearing. I'd she's give her not nipples attractive. a kiss. <laughs> she cleans up she really like good, but... Hair type thing. She stinks. I love no, her. I don't, I don't think she's attractive. She was chastising her. her little monsters. Why? Well, they wrote some mean things about Perez Hilton. And, uh, ooh, there was a little battle going back and forth. She said, hey, we are all about, uh, uh love and diversity and... Th oh. She's smart, though. Oh, God. 22 minutes. 22 minutes left. Oh, That's thanks. Great. What show did you do, Hits? Um, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, she did something for Hits 1. Morning mashup. Morning mashup style. I would assume so, Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. Oh, I finally figured out that parody song they do. Because yeah. I heard that again on the way in, too. Or on the way out. Yeah. Uh, I'm sleepy on Monday morning. Oh. Do you got that in the system? Are we allowed to play I, their shit? I can't access their stuff. Is that from uh, Easy? Yeah. Is that from I'm it? sleepy on Monday morning. Ah. And they all sing it. I'll ah, see if I can get it there in nice. the break. Uh, some sleepy. Uh, uh, oh, that one. I also learned something about Pink. What? Yeah, now that I'm really listening to Sirius XM for the first time. You really are. Pink is very feminine. What? But don't fuck with her. She looks like a She can dyke. handle herself. Pink's a badass. She's a badass. She does look like but a... she's going to tell you that she's a bit on the feminine side. She's yeah. got a soft side, but don't How? fuck with her. She's not going to take any of your guff. No. How is she feminine? <laughs> that's a good question. I'd love to know one feminine thing. That's, that's what she likes to portray, that she's a bit feminine, but also she's a tough cookie. There's a pink without makeup picture out there that I, is just... I never understood. ...so brutal. Pink. Whoa. Which one? All of them. Oh, my God. Dude. She looks like a dude. Oh. She looks You're like right. our old intern, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That's pink. That's pink? Yeah, without makeup. She looks like fucking uh, Jared. You're right. Good call, man. That's yeah. pink. Wow. Without, without the pink stuff. Oh, my. That dumb hat. Philip Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> yeah, she, uh... Yeah. She's, she's solving a... She has look like she's out solving a crime. Where is the woman I used to be? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what a tiny brim on that hat. It stinks. It's a tiny little brim. It looks like she was attacked by brim thieves <laughs> and they snipped her brim. There's wow. been a, a rash oh, of brim God. snipping. She looked like Ethel Mertz there. Let me see her. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I can take oh fucking God. nips. Oh yeah, but God. They're too high oh, she's often. knocked up though. She's knocked up. That's well, right. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Nice big Good suckable gosh. milk nipples. <laughs> God, Let so. me see the other picture of her where she looks like <laughs> Ethel Mertz. Yeah, the yeah. one where she had the little that look. dopey fucking hat. Mm. I don't know. You don't like wow. It's Philip Seymour Hoffman. That's exactly yeah, who yeah. she looks like. Without makeup. Uh, Do you want to kiss me on the big nipples? And and uh, also Lady Gaga with no makeup. With, I uh, love Lady so Gaga. No, I no have makeup. no bad mouthing of Lady no. Gaga. All right, let's see Lady Gaga with no makeup. She, she looked good yesterday. In that she's white got catchy songs, but she's horrible no, without makeup. Oh Jesus. my God, really, Jimmy? Yes, no. dude. She is fucking really cute and sexy. Give me another one. Maybe without that's a, a doubt. Oh, yeah. There's some bad pictures oh, of her. No. Yeah, all of them. No, no, no. All of them. <laughs> I love all her. Way to go, Travis. Do, she looked good yesterday in that fucking no. thing. You guys are crazy. No, that looks really. okay. Maybe crazy that for other reasons. Big but. fucking fat vagina she has. She's terrific. She cleans up really well. Yeah. But she's... Every gal. She's horrendous I like looking. that one in the black with, like, with, with the... Cra no, no. Yeah, that's kind of a crazy shot, you but like I like that. that. Yes. I'd kiss her long neck and just hum... Ya -da 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 -da. <laughs> and kiss her giant vagina. <laughs> I love her. I do. Ya -da, ya -da -da. Oh, boy. I think she and I would be a good couple. You guys are yeah. crazy. Yeah. How much longer in the fish song, you rock? I gotta lose some more weight, though. Uh, We've done four topics. Nineteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be in shape. And listen to. Could you turn this up for a second? What the fuck? Who would listen to this? 
they're so trying to move the mic strong. placement for feedback. <laughs> this is infuriating. I'm with you. With and this. you'd be in Madison Square Garden. It's New Year's Eve. You're sitting there listening to this and going, yeah. How many songs could you get in? Four? Right? <laughs> Four songs. Thank Four you. Songs. Good night. <laughs> they better pick their songs carefully. <laughs> you can only play four. <laughs> this is terrible. Eat some LSD and shut up. How about you? Easy with the comeback. Told you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why haven't we heard Lady Gaga's new song? We heard it yesterday. Because he rocks well, in there futzing around. I finally figured out who she sounds like in this new song. They just stopped. Oh, you want to hear Turpin Station? What's that? That's Another dead. Grateful Dead song. Yeah, that's a good one. Just listen to this. What? Listen to this. This does stink. Just for a second. You would want to be in a fucking a, a coliseum, a fucking arena. Yeah. Listening to this. This is where your arms are out and you're just kind of moving. <laughs> is that it? Look at that, said Jimmy. Yeah. You just, you just look at throw your hands Jimmy. Up. Yeah. Look at that. Ah, this is nice. Oh, I kind of uh, like doing this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. See. Yeah. It's like water. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck you with this shit. Oh, I thought for a second you were digging it. Fuck. No. Nah. This is self-indulgent crap. How do you know when your fellow bandmate is doing bad? Right? <laughs> Listen. It's gotta be the easiest gig ever. If you see someone smiling or dancing, you're like, yeah, sold out. Listen to what it goes down to. Alright. You gotta bring it down low before you start building it back up. This no, if you, if you wrote a good song, it would be dynamic in that way. This is terrible. This is terrible. 1650. It's self-indulgent. <laughs> it's it's these guys. They they took people's money so they could sit there and watch it and perish the thought anyone had an honest opinion and turned to the guy next to him and said, "This really fucking sucks." Because they don't they want to look cool in front of everybody, uh, thinking that they really like this shit. And, and and then you you paid to listen to these musicians yeah, you fuck around and noodle. It's different every time. You're watching a practice. Yeah. yeah. Yep. What about that? Can no you do one, that? No one is enjoying this. Songs if you're at Madison Square structure. Garden, New Year's Eve, you're sitting there watching this, they're doing this. Right here. You're mad. You're mad! It's better than Ryan Seacrest. I don't know. This is atrocious. <laughs> this is atrocious. Do you think this is going on and they miss midnight? Like, oh, that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but would it matter? Uh, come back it's fucking man. June 4th. We'll celebrate New Year's whenever we want, man. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. Is this a crowd yeah, from this, Fish? This crowd. We're looking at uh, the crowd. Yeah, the title is Crowd Grooves. Yeah, of course they're groove. Oh What's the song? God. Let's see what they're listening to on that. That might be a grooving song. It has to be. It's the same thing. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my god, look at these fucking assholes! <laughs> that guy oh. used to intern for us, I think. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, what I love to hear. Oh, wah, wah, bah! Right in the middle of that fucking crowd. Kaboom. Look at the light show they got. It's cool. They're what grooving. are they doing? They're grooving. That's it. Grooving. I don't want to groove. They were yeah. grooving. Yeah. How many minutes left in this song? They move the way I move when there's two, four fingers buried my asshole. <laughs> That's how my body moves. I kind of groove on my stomach <laughs> to get more finger in. Oh, more grooving. Mm. And they're all sing just a song. dancing around. Right. Exactly, Jimmy. Just sing a fucking song. Why? Right, they're grooving. They're just watching That's the lights, these stone dunces. <laughs> right. That's a cool light show. It's like, this, 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 the lights falling down from a column and then yeah. everyone's spreading out. That's all they're doing is That's listening. All they, need. they feel like they're at the party in Midnight Cowboy when Rico is stealing lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of fucking dumbbells. They're grooving. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, there's a beach ball. Yeah, look. Of course there is. Like, I, I, I wish that was old dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievably terrible. Oh, everybody's having fun. This guy in a cowboy hat. Look at all the dumb arms going up in the air. They're not good dancers either. No. Well, they're grooving. Well, they don't yeah. have a lot of room to move, so. No, they just gotta put their arms up and go, like, shimmy their hips. Right. There's only one thing I like about that crowd. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> go to Vermont. 
Oh, boy. You think there's a lot of hip touching? Oh. oh. Your hip is just touching other hips. Yes. A lot of dumpster breath. Um, There's a lot of bad breath God. in that fucking auditorium. Would you get annoyed if people bumped into you? I would be so annoyed <laughs> just <laughs> being there. Why? Just being there. Just you curmudging with a black hat and a gun. They're <laughs> 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 all trying to have fun. You're like, get out of my way! Stop touching me. <laughs> trying to get back to his seat. <laughs> Plays are just yelling, play a song! Yeah. <laughs> Two fisting beers. Come on, move! <laughs> but they don't even sell beer there. Oh, why would they? I think, you know, well, they have to. Just because everybody's like, it's you know, so. Understand. Now they're all drunks. <laughs> they're just standing there playing their instruments, fucking boring. around. It's very boring. Totally boring. I like to think I could be in fish. You, you could. could be. You could. Just get up there and just. You could. Yeah. This takes nothing. Wow. Just just fucking around with Enjoy your the dumb instruments, sir. Enjoy the Fuck hate. them. Let them try. They probably can't work computers, so I'm safe. Oh, look at them. Good time. <laughs> How are they enjoying it? Taking photos. Yeah, man. They, they are like... terrible. There's the beach ball. Look, the guy's got the big. Oh, the guy's got a big cactus. Why yeah. are they? Why are they trying to get girls? Yeah. Yeah. I want. I'm. I'm trying to focus in on the one guy that a friend brought him. So you're gonna love this. This guy right here. Yeah, and he's just mad that he's there. The one guy with a tie. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to find something to tie the other end around. <laughs> one and thing this... I, I'm noticing one thing though. Huh? Where the fuck are the girls? Yeah, I'm not There's seeing many chicks. There's a lot of guys in this audience. I don't see many fish chicks. Where are the chicks? I'll tell you what, they're taking big black dick in the parking lot from the uh. t-shirt guys. <laughs> they're finally getting a good fuck. <laughs> finally getting a proper rogering as their limp dick <laughs> fucking <laughs> acid boyfriends are in there. Bopping up and down, <laughs> out of rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the women? Do you see any women in this crowd? They don't like the name. They think they're making fun of them. <laughs> fish. Oh, wow. I see smelly pussy. <laughs> <laughs> there are way more guys than girls in this crowd. Yes, yes. It could be an OA event. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. What are we saying, Jesus? Where are the chicks? You're right. There's not a lot of chicks in this crowd. You see them one. sprinkled about, but think that, that's all guys right there, right? Yeah. Yep. A, a bunch of dudes with fucking trucker hats on. Uh, Iraq, how, how many more minutes left in the song? 11.07. Alright, we're getting there. Shit, dip. Almost half over. This is so bad. Are we half over? One song. Yeah, we're half over. Alright. That fucking, by the way, when Anthony said yesterday, when, when he said pigs in a blanket and you said that's how Iraq sleeps, it's it's one of the fucking <laughs> meanest, <laughs> fastest <laughs> things I've heard in years. It was very mean. It. I, Dude, I felt I, very I, bad. I, it, it, it was just. A pig in a blanket is so fucking mean. That is mean. A pig in a blanket. I apologize, E Rock. How's the movie coming? It's doing all right. All right. Oh, good. Good to hear. What decade you up to? Oh, you're writing it all at once. Uh, I, I stopped writing oh. for a little while. Oh, damn it. I'll take it back up. I hope you don't have writer's on. block. We got to talk to a girl that goes to fish shows. Oh, no, we cool. Don't. Yes, we, we do. <laughs> Amy! Hello. What's up, Amy? How are you? Talking about fish right. today. We're, we're noticing in this crowd shot of this one particular show, there's mm -hmm. not a lot of uh, women in the crowd. Um, yeah, there are quite a few girls that go to fish shows. I mean, there's definitely more guys, but there are definitely quite a few girls that go. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing them. Interesting. And what do you like about uh, fish? Um, I know that you guys absolutely hate the music that they're playing. Mm -hmm, correct. I hate the sound, so, oh, yay, hippie, but... I really, I like the music, but I will agree with you. When they start jamming, you're just like, ah, oh, fuck, stop. It's been 20 minutes. Oh, my yes. God. See, you're yes. right. Yes, there are people who, like, when I go to a show, I, I enjoy it. I love it. But it's just like, okay, be done with this song and move on to the next one. So, yeah, it gets a little annoying. And do you get, uh, do you get high? Not anymore. <laughs> oh. Would you used to take, yeah. like, acid? Um, no, not acid. I mean, mushrooms, pills, oh, hot. Pills. Um, I, I've, I've been there sober also, and I enjoy it actually a little bit more because you're not, you know, <gasps> falling over. And, and as far as people bumping into you, absolutely. People bump into oh, you the whole time. God. They're, ugh. It lo yeah. we're, we're looking at some video of people just, you know. 
grooving. Grooving, but it's now yeah. it's it's at crowd level. It's like in the crowd, and man, this looks like a group of people I want nothing to do with. <laughs> I mean, that really. That would probably be true. Yeah. That would probably be true. A lot of people who don't smell so good. Yeah, a lot of peasant dresses and fucking yeah. girls like yeah. fucking and, and and people are blowing bubbles and fucking yeah doing yeah, that I mean, the, doing that i have wings and i'm flying dance yeah. <laughs> oh Those god are people that, you want, that you need to watch out for the ones that spin around just there are people i've watched at shows who have just spun in circles for 30 45 minutes oh nice and, and, and i don't and i go to shows and i don't get that it's just yeah it's there are definitely some strange cats at, at some shows, but there are also some, you know, quote, normal people that go. I mean, I, I like to consider myself not a spinner with wings on it. It's uh -huh. kind of normal. Like, I have a normal life. I work full time. I have kids, so. Oh. All right. You know? Well, you used to be a little crazier, it sounds like. A little bit. Back mm -hmm. in the day, but you got to grow up. And I think that's the issue, too. No. Some don't grow up. No, so. you don't. Seven no, and a right. half minutes. <laughs> All right. Oh. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Amy. You're welcome, thanks, guys. Fish fan. One more. Aaron in Atlanta. Aaron. This is like the funniest shit I've heard in weeks. This is fucking great. Uh, I'm with Anthony on this one. I think this oh. is just a bunch of fucking garbage. This is terrible. <laughs> it's crap. It's crap. It's fucking hilarious. It's just fucking <laughs> drivel. Like, uh, to use one of Jimmy's words, it's just drivel. You can't, yeah, I, you, I agree. You can't enjoy this for 20 minutes. The same no. boring fucking. Oh, doo -doo 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 yeah. It, it's oh, and they're, they're having a blast. They're just fucking playing their instrument. It's just a different Time to yeah, them man. just is going by like fucking crazy. It's just a different headspace, though. Oh, it's no. It's yeah, no headspace there. You dude. understand what you're getting into. <laughs> 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 When I was in co when I was in college, there was these this group of uh, fish fans. I went to school at a little school in North Georgia, and there was this little clique of fish fans. They would uh, they would write with poster paint on their on the backs of their fucking hippie cars about how many days until the fish concert. Three days till fish man. Uh, <laughs> nice. and you gotta listen to that shit. <laughs> Two days till fish man. Oh, and it's sort of, and you sat next to them in the computer lab. Fucking forget it. That's <laughs> all they're talking about, right? Oh, uh, all they're talking about in the smell. Jesus Christ. Uh. Oh, just fucking terrible. Oh, and the one, the one band that nobody's mentioned yet is uh, they're based out of Atlanta. Widespread Panic. Oh, God. I, I remember Widespread Panic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, another one of those bullshit jam bands. <laughs> <laughs> what was their big song? They had one song. Who the fuck knows? They, it's like, it's all 30-minute version. No, of we had to play bullshit. one of those fucking songs. What was it? I don't know. I've heard of the name. I've never... All right, Aaron. Thank you so much, brother. Thanks, boys. Right. Right. Goodbye now. What's Widespread Panic's big song? Widespread Panic out of Atlanta, huh? Yeah, they had a, one song, I think. Another jam band? I think they... I'm going to speak out of turn. I'm not sure. I, I thought they were one of those bands that just kind of progressed into a jam band. Yeah. Are they one of those? I'm not sure. Could you imagine this? Now they're bringing it back. Oh, yeah. Still more just lead. Anyone just know the widespread fucking... panic Was song? it uh, Hope in a Hopeless World? Oh, God. I don't know. Can't Get High? No. Those are both 95 and 97. Let's play one. I don't know anything they do. This, this is, is absolutely <laughs> terrible. It, 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 it's it's unbelievably bad. You don't like this one? No, this stinks. Should we try a different one? Yeah, we got another 20 yeah, you've only fucking heard one five fish minutes. Song. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't make your opinion oh, on, on one, one song. Oh, on one 25 minute song? No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy on I Twitter, uh, Nick's, oh, Nick's Hex on Twitter. He writes, uh, I fucking. Uh, oh, wait, that's not the guy. Oh, no. It might have been the guy. You uh, inadvertently credited someone else? No, I think he also had another tweet. <clears throat> now I'm trying to find the other tweet. Yeah, whatever. Basically, he said, I think it was his sister in law, uh, followed fish around all summer with, with her one year old. Oh, that's a good thing to do. Was that the guy that said that somewhere? Ah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. One year old on tour with a fucking. I, oh, here it is. Yeah, it was the same guy. My sister. Oh, it's his sister. My sister followed fish one summer with my one year old nephew in tow. We almost disowned her. Does this song sound familiar? Yeah, it was widespread panic, right? I thought they had a hit. Driving song? I've heard of that before. Is that the one? I don't know, but I've heard of that. Baby born in 
This sounds um, very early 70s. I think they're more of a uh, band than, than, you know, like a jam band. That's why I think I think they started moving into that jam world a little bit. I'm not positive, though. Uh, I'm hearing some fucking verses of a song. That's kind of refreshing. I'm, I'm hearing structure. And I want to hear if a, a chorus actually comes up after this verse. It would be nice. All right. Uh, best part of, about fish, they're Ben and Jerry's ice cream. You don't oh. have a Ben and Jerry's ice cream named after you, eh? No, I don't. Fish does. Fish hey, look, food. a chorus. Fish food, right? Yeah, that's great. Here's a chorus. <laughs> after that fucking... I don't, I don't like this, but after fucking listening to 25 minutes of fish, this is fucking Led Zeppelin. I don't mind this. I, I think they're they're compared to a lot of you know like classic rock, so they probably get lumped in with that jam yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh oh, what, what is, is this? this? Uh, fish is still going. Oh, oh cool. How many minutes? Oh, now left? listen. We've got about two and a half. Now they've turned into some fucking. This is Spinal Tap's Jazz Odyssey. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Odyssey. <laughs> Well, we've got two songs we can do. What it... You know that idea we've been thinking about doing, Jazz Odyssey? And there's fucking three people uh, in the bleachers, doing one's doing the thumbs down to the band. Our bass player wrote this. <laughs> Should we break? Yeah. This fucking, <laughs> Travis goes, yes. this fucking I CD. Think everyone here has to pee. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why don't we, um, you want to play something else from Patrice O'Neill's? Yeah. CD? I gotta shake the dew off my lily. What does that mean, Chip? Piss. Oh. All right. In track seven. Seven? Okay. Three a, a couple things. This is Jim Norton's week, man. He's got his big comedy special this Friday on Epics at 10 o'clock. Yes. Please watch epicshd.com if you don't get Epics. American Degenerate from Jim Norton uh, premieres this Friday yes. with an amazing, uh, an amazing opening Thank to you. the uh, special mm -hmm. as well. And then Patrice O'Neill, our old uh, pal there, he's got an album out called Unreleased. It's going to help his uh, mama it's and iTunes. Vaughn yep. and other people that he left behind. So uh, it's on iTunes now. Please go and get that. And we're going to play another track from Unreleased by Patrice O'Neill. Yes. Mm. You said seven? Seven. All right. Let's play this. It's uh, called Threesomes. You got a man now?